is just bugging down here for some reason. It's having a hard time on idle here. Especially it's on gear or even no even if it's not on gear. What the heck's going on here guys? Well we gotta go check what's going on here. Well we got the car in the garage now guys and I did the um scan on the OBD11 and I did get a P0341. It is the cam sensor somehow for some reason. Um the positioning sensor is uh Possibly the culprit here. I'm definitely gonna do more investigation. The actual sensor is just right there. It's a little tucked in. As you guys can see, let me see if I can do a bit of a focus there, a bit more. But anyways, uh, I'll try to replace that. I'm gonna try and get a replacement from the Volkswagen dealer there and uh, see if that's gonna help. Yes, we're now on to the next weekend here and uh, I did replace the sensor now with a brand new one there. It's a little tricky to get in because the fact that um, it's just barely no place to put your finger in there and to get that wiring out and also to even to undo the, the T30 bolt there. It's really hard to get in, um, but it is once you get the bolt out, Use a magnet uh, to aid you so that you don't drop any bolt. So you need something like very small, tiny T30 with uh, an open wrench and just uh, go that route. I didn't video because there's not much room to show you there. So one thing I want to test guys is this connector for our um, crank uh, sensor here. I just want to make sure that there is at least four volts that's coming out of here. With our key on, basically I just want to test to make sure that we get some continuity on our electrical system here. There you go guys, as you guys can see there's about four. So that's about right, so we should be okay in this regard. Here's the old sensor that I took out. I already cleaned it up a little bit here. There's tons of gunk as you guys can see but there's full of oil in there. I didn't really see much oil around or outside. There's a bit of moisture there at one point, but yeah, unfortunately I drove around, started the car, warmed it up and it's still causing the idle there just keeps going up and down. So it's just getting worse here. So the next step that I want, would like to try here is uh, I'm thinking about opening up the magnet cover here undo that one and uh, maybe clean the valve that basically controls the the oil to lubricate the uh, camshaft there the worst case scenario is we might have a camshaft issue and possibly timing belt uh, or timing chain that is anyways guys i'll keep you up to date on this situation here uh, I might have to bring it into the dealer to get it scanned as well. It's just a sec get a second opinion here. But anyways, um, yeah, 170, almost 180,000 kilometers now on this baby. And uh, starting to get some issues with it. I, you know, I have done an awesome maintenance on this car. We've all changed uh, Castrol Edge, full synthetic in the whole nine yards i can't see any of that camshaft and all that uh timing chain would go bad on me this early i know it's high kilometer now but i'm expecting over 200 before it's starting to wear out on us so anyways guys i'll keep you updated in this case three days later well i brought the car to dealer guys and here's our findings for second opinion um they got the same error code which is p uh zero three four one and it's cam position sensor implosive signal position is misspelled there for some reason but anyways guys there is also an evap leak going on as well and <clears throat> just for the diagnosis it's around 195 dollars there with uh, gst and all um, yeah, uh, not to mention which uh, dealer I brought this into, but uh, anyways, guys, they are saying that I might have to replace 
the cam itself and as well as the timing chain and uh, the work is going to total around six grand Canadian that is so <laughs> it's worse than I thought guys I really think that the car is not that damaged and that uh, I know the car really well so I'm gonna try and see and play around a little bit and do the least expensive changes for now and see if that fixes the issue so anyways guys stay tuned so well guys we might as well take a look at the purge valve and see how things just gotta remove the connection here for the sensor This is the magnet basically here, and, we, and then uh, we need a T, T30 to loosen all that stuff out. Um, it's a little tricky here because I don't have enough space to work on here, but let me see if I can squeeze my tool. no room here so I'm gonna try and get another tool. I got a one-fourth ratcheting and um, a t30 here so it give us a bit more space just make sure I don't drop it though it's the only problem with this Now we got all the bolts loosened up now guys, I'm just gonna do it uh, by hand here. There we go guys there goes our our valve basically here the uh, the darker round thing down there with the two the little uh, dimples there where we're gonna use to loosen it up and um, yeah and here's the magnet basically is what uh, helps control and and things on this baby um, there's supposed to be some movements on this thing. I don't know why. Yeah, that could be the issue there, guys. Um. Anyways, let's uh, open this up and see how how bad it is in that sense. And uh, there'll be should be some filters and and ports for oil in the process there, and see what we can find. If it's clogged and dirty, then we we'll look into it. And at the same time, here, guys, this doesn't seem to be. operational as well well i put everything back in place guys because i wasn't able to open the um the purge valve um i thought i could use my caliper rear caliper um tool but i don't have the proper size for it anyways so i put it back in i just cleaned the magnet out a little bit and the little valve that's there and uh, it's starting to move so it's a it's okay we'll give it a try um it's a rescan again and take the car for a ride and see how well that, uh, that does it. Well, we're gonna try and scan guys here and I'll, I'll get back to it when uh, all 14 tests has been completed here. Uh, scans complete. We got three codes. Um, let's read what's uh, on this three codes. Uh, okay, this time we don't have an engine fault at all. That's a good sign. Uh, looking positive here, guys. We got an ele 
central electronics which i we had before uh because of um our head unit that I installed here basically is costing that along with the navigation and the radio as well but looking like we don't have that uh sensor issue with the cam now seems like we don't have that same fault now so anyways we'll take the car out for a ride and then uh, we'll see how it goes all right guys i took the car out for a drive test drive here and so far it's basically driving perfectly no more issues here in this sense what a beautiful day today too as well as you can see a beautiful sky those clouds are just amazing they're just like cottons but anyways guys i'm so happy with the result here again i just took the advice from the dealer and did all that stuff it would have cost me six thousand dollars but here <laughs> cost me almost nothing guys so anyways just be aware not everything that's happening in the car seems to be the way people would would think it would be and sometimes it's a lot simpler there so anyways guys yep you just gotta know how to take care of your cars and know a lot about your car to be able to save money here guys anyways well guys just want to do a final wrap on this situation that we're having with our cam sensors and this idling issues that's just basically going up and down um uh, during idle so anyways guys i just wanted to say that i still need to replace the magnet itself and uh, possibly because the fact that uh it's probably def defective now and it's old uh, i was able to free it and actually cleaned it up and it's starting to move again and rattle but other than that guys i will have to keep track of that and do some replacement at some point finally gotten a uh, tool i don't know if i put the tool the tool is right there to actually do the the valve itself the purge valve to be able to remove the purge purge valve in the process i'll be able to use that now to actually undo it and be able to clean inside i might do a video on that guys just to show you how that whole internal is looking and possibly how to clean it up and, and everything so stay tuned for that new video anyways guys if you haven't done so please hit the subscribe button and at the same time ring that bell so that way you will never miss any of the videos that I will be publishing going forward. Peace out.